Like these new pistons are a bit minging. There's a lot of carbon on the top. Just want to get rid of it. Best thing, I believe, is a brass wheel. So it's softer than the alley. Beautiful. A little nick there. Just gonna dress it out. But apart from that. It's only really tiny, it's just a fingernail. Good. Right, I'm going to measure clearance for the right hand piston using plaster gauge to the crank. Um, I don't have the correct one exactly, so it's a bit of an eyeball just to make sure we're not. We have got some kind of clearance. So what you do is put it in the middle of the oil holes. Um, that's the right hand side, yeah. Put it on top, it's probably the easiest. Uh, inlet, stick it on there. Helps if you if your tools ready, which I don't.
It's totally flat. And you get your gauge. So this only goes down to 0 0.004. So point zero zero three up I would say quite similar to that. And the limits zero zero three two. So based on that I know it's it's well over zero zero four. And because of that I've lower range which is green plastic gauge I'm just gonna say that's probably okay it's a brand new bearing so that is all good So this can now, the rings can be changed, I'll give it a quick clean. They can stay where they are now. I'll, do, I'll give it a final clean and an oil, that's good, it's good for me. And we're just waiting for the yellow one to come. It's in the post. Word of warning. So I've got this book. 1978-1982. A reproduction of original factory productions. Okay. Now, if you notice, when ordering these shells, um, you go by the codes, so this one is a C2, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, sorry, not forget the C, it's a 2. And uh, I don't know, it's a B and a B. Um, I'm just trying to think which would be which. So. That would be your left hand piston. Left hand piston, which would be this one. So that's correct order. And this is number one. So the left hand is number one. So it's a um, so B1. Go to this. B1 is a green. All good. We have a green bearing. Go to this one, which is date of issue, December, Honda Motor Company, Limited, 1978. Uh, I mean, it's just a, a copy, anyway. Um, we would go for C1, which would be a, sorry, not C, B1, so the crank is a B. And a one, B, and a one, which is a yellow. See the difference? It says green, it says yellow. Now I've ordered a yellow bearing, which I'm waiting on, and I don't know which to go for. So we'll see what what's what when it turns up. But yeah, just a word of warning there. Right, my yellow bearings came today, so I've put the plastic gauge in, just nipped it up, I just need to torque it, so I think it's set from a few days ago, I'm just 
gonna try and do it like this. So you just see the gauge. I'm looking for service limit is um, check point zero eight mil. Okay, we've got a nice spread there. And this only goes down to point one, but it's You would say, apart from that bit there, I think it's okay. Looking at the scale. I think I'm happy. If anything, it's on the on the larger side. This. But I still think it's pretty much there. At least we've got some clearance. That's what I'm more concerned about. So we've got some oil that can get by and pressurise it enough. do its job okay good stuff right clean 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 right got new rings so I'm just gonna give this a quick clean in the grooves to get rid of Okay, 
And there's a little nick there that like so I might just run there. Few actually. This is what came with the head, so what's been going on? It's just polishing, really. I think that's clean enough. Good spray. So new piston rings, want to check the gap, um, service limit, we'll go for the top ones, is 0.6 mil. Now obviously the new rings, it's not obvious, but they are new rings. So I'm getting That's a nice fit there, which is 0.3. Um, you want to have a gap because when it heats up and if that gap touches, then you're going to start to bow, especially on one, one side, the, the hot side. So it's going to bow and it's going to... Um, make this cylinder wear uneven potentially splitting the ring as well all sorts of damage um, now to get that in you just use the piston to get it square push it down until you hit and then you know it's uh, it's gone in square but that's okay there's a nice gap, minimum online, as a generalisation, is 0.10 mil gap minimum to allow for some expansion there. I'll just go through each one. So, piston rings, the gaps have all checked out okay. I want to check this clearance now because the, although the rings are new, the um, the um, pistons not obviously. So I'm just looking at the limits here. The manual. 
which uh, da -da -da, service limit of a top and second ring to groove is 0 0.1. So, one so what are we saying here we shouldn't be able to get this in we can't so that's all okay also another note, I got these from CMS, it's hard to get the OEM rings. Orientation is a bit weird because there's nothing, there's no instructions about this. So searching forums and online, and I got a, a diagram from the CB forum actually. But what we think is, um, let me try and show you. There, okay, so the one with the chromium tip, and it's got like two chamfers, which is a compression seal. Is the top this flat, dark cast one, which is acts as an oil scraper actually, in conjunction with this, I believe. goes in the middle and the two oil rings have no uh, marks, nothing, so they just doesn't matter which way they go I believe and it's common practice industry standards letters facing up I'm hoping that's correct a little bit, I think it is <laughs> 